I think I kind of always had this idea about being a teacher from a really young age. The first thing I remember wanting to be is a garbage man. So um, I, I, I don't know where, you know, teaching hadn't quite come onto the radar yet. I think it really came down to just really liking school. I've only ever naturally gravitated toward teaching. Um, so I think I decided with confidence that teaching was a, a, for me. From there, it kind of spun out of control. You know, you hear some stories about high school being this tumultuous time, and certainly, like, I experienced changes and stresses and fights and all of that. I loved high school. Um, I went to an all-girls Catholic high school. Um, I was super involved. I um, played on the volleyball team. I was involved in student council all four years. I didn't care what other people thought. Like I was a student to sit by the teacher at lunch. <laughs> so unintentionally popular is I think the best description that I can, I can say because people liked me, but I think they liked me from a superficial standpoint. Most days I would say I felt happy going to school um, and definitely felt like I grew over those four years. High school was was challenging um, in that not a whole lot of what was happening in the classroom felt tremendously meaningful. My initial plan was to attend the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Uh, Finish my I wanted to get be in a dual program, so I wanted to get my master's in public health and then get my MD. And there was a day that I went home and opened the phone book after I got off early on a Friday and I called every school in the phone book and when I got to the W's I found a job. I graduated from college and became a teacher and I taught for four years back in Wisconsin. I've definitely had, you know, I guess there's that statistic which I don't actually know if it's real but about teacher retention um, that, you know, over 50 percent of teachers leave the profession after the first before the first five years are up. You know, when students will come back and say, you know, I'm thinking about going into teaching, you know, what advice do you have? Um, one of the things you have to understand is that teaching is not like any other job, I don't think. I mean, teaching isn't something that you do. It's something that you are. I, I, I probably imagined, oh, well, if I can understand things really deeply and explain them well, then that's going to mean that I'm doing a good job teaching. And that certainly is so far from the, re it's not the reality at all. You know, early in your career, I think you, you come in and, and sometimes you can think that it's like, oh, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to change. I'm gonna, you know, drop incredible knowledge. You know, I'm gonna come in and like rock their worlds with this or that or the other. And, and the more you teach, the more you realize that it's like, it, it's really not about you at all. I don't want my enthusiasm to trample over students' own thinking. And so it's like a very delicate push and pull where sometimes I might, this year, I might hear a really, really good mathematical idea coming out of like a group conversation. And last year, Rachel would have like run over and jumped in and been like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Da -da -da -da. And like this year, Rachel is like sitting on her hands and going like, let them keep talking. See where they take it. Like, so again, it's that idea about it not being about me. That's a constant evolution. To do it well, I think you have to really be dedicated. And I think it takes a lot of time and energy outside of the classroom. I'm now about, I think I'm in my 15th year of teaching now. And I absolutely love it. Like, I, I really don't see myself doing another type of work and at the same time it's a tough it's a tough um, profession when I see my students are struggling I want to rush in and rescue um, even if it's answering multiple questions and it getting me off track in class so I like to give my students a little bit of a push and see where they can go with something before I actually jump back into it. The number one thing that is always great and energizing for me is time spent in the classroom. The pieces that take up so much time and energy are really like the, the time it takes to plan a semester, a unit, and then an individual class lesson plan for you know a 75 minute block class. 
Sometimes it's more than the 75 minutes that you actually teach it. We all work really hard, um, and I think students understand that. I mean, I, I do think there are times when they don't necessarily understand, you know, all the time that goes into, for instance, grading a paper, that it's like, it's not just, you know, if you want the feedback to be meaningful, it's gonna take me 45 minutes to an hour. Whether the students realize it or not, you know, the teacher is putting, putting energy into delivering a lesson and they want that to go well. When students talk about how busy they are, how stressed they are, and it manifests itself as like frustration at a teacher, I think that's always hard for me to hear because they might know that we're busy and we're working hard. But yeah, sometimes, I mean, you all are just living your lives and as high schoolers and that's like the reason we're all here. So I can hear it, but sometimes it's hard, yeah. Um, when it's like, I'm trying. <laughs> I think to do well and to balance having a family. So that's, that's constantly the thing that's the rub for me is, is, you know, that piece of having a young child and then also having work that I bring home with me every night. For me, a lot of it is, you know, I, I you know, can never have enough time to read books or watch films. Uh, and it's hard to do that, you know, during, during the school year. I mean, it's just to find the energy to do that can be really, uh, can be really challenging. The genuine uh, gratitude, it's like really nice to feel and to hear. I think when a student takes the time to thank you for something or write you a thank you note, um, it means, it, I, I don't think they realize the impact that that has. Um, in a teacher, I look for someone who I can, who's really personable and someone who I can learn a lot from but also have a really fun time in their class. I think a teacher that can connect with students and sort of make whatever subject he's teaching relatable is like really valuable. I think a teacher that like can always have a really interesting lesson plan and like really come to class like ready to engage his students and make them think like thoroughly is really important. Rachel is a fantastic, happy, uh, empathetic and compassionate math teacher. Well, I think Sean. I think Sean's doing a tremendous job, especially given that this is this is his first year. I'm gonna miss Krista so much when I go to college. I think that I'm gonna come back and honestly just charge into her room right when I get on campus. <laughs> just the fact that she invests so much invests so much time into knowing me as a student and knowing me as a person really means a lot. Sean does a really good job of making it not dumbing it down, but like making it understandable for us as students and like with like real world examples and stuff like that. Um, I really like Bill as a teacher because he always makes me like think really thoroughly in class and he always challenges like my ideas and so it's just a really good like environment and his lesson plans are always super detailed. I think that students underestimate the work that teachers put into everything that they do. You know you don't you don't expect a teacher to have their own life and their own things to tend to and their own interests that they have and so when you realize that they have all these other things going on and then you realize how much time they put into your class that just makes the whole like makes you appreciate them so much more and I think I think everyone here can definitely definitely do that more. I think it's honestly truly amazing how they come so prepared and so invest in every student's um, education here. It's clear when he shows up to the classroom that like he really cares about what he's doing um, and he really cares about connecting with the students. Well like just overall the election class like he's always really been like every new class since there's been so many late breaking developments like he completely changes the class and like I think just overall like being able to adapt his lesson plan like I mean every day he goes above and beyond. I was in tutorial and like without even hesitating he said he offered to stay during his lunchtime uh, to continue tutorial um, because he had so many students that were in there with questions um, and like I know a lot of teachers aren't willing to do that. Thank you. Um, just thank you. <laughs>